Choma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes, Death Tub. And I'm thinking, Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, What's so funny? That's when I realized when you see Death Tub in the mirror, God of Energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Another story about Shoma. One day I got a call from school and a rather heavy set vice principal told me. Your Shoma called me a pig of all things! I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore. But it's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? Out of energy, inti, inti, pachaka man! finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened? Yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You prefer someplace quiet, right? Wait, the Ferris wheel? Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. Ha <laughs> Look, the ants are like people. It's the other way around. Wait. The other way around doesn't sound right either. I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. Flame propellers, washing machines, the beds at love hotels. There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. How do you know that? Just like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. Well, the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. A boy is just like me, you know? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but he's still a kid inside. With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside, too. <laughs> you got a point there. 
You're probably right. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. His mother hasn't been around for about three years now. Was it a divorce? Yeah. She got sick of me and left the house. Does this have to do with the Yakuza by any chance? <laughs> what? Where in the world did that come from? Just something I heard. That you have gang connections. That's complete nonsense. I'm just an ordinary comedian. Well, even if it was true, he wouldn't just admit it. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. You know I'm a comedian now. But when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. Adored wherever I went, everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. But after that, well... It's just as you saw on that stage. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. I'm sorry, I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then, that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Komeiji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%, the early stages of inebriation. I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. Sorry I couldn't help, Mr. Ryuki. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me.